Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right. We have the current situation. We have the Ten of Pentacles. What's crossing that? Oh, you're taking a break on your money. <laughs> We have the Four of Swords. We have, what do you need to focus on? We have the Hermit, also, excuse me, Virgo. We have your past or what it is that you're leaving. We have the Six of Wands, your strengths, Ten of Cups. Like I've said before, the Ten of Cups has been coming out a lot for Capricorn. Everyone's going for their Ten of Cups. Near future, we have the Six of Swords. We have the Advice, the Star, Aquarius. We have the Nine of Wands for the Environment. Hopes and Fears, we have the Sun. And then the Potential Outcome, we have the Seven of Pentacles. All right. Let's see, what do I want to use? Let's use these. Okay, so we have the current situation. We have the, the Ten of Pentacles. So that, that looks really good, but Four of Swords is crossing that. And I feel like you're kind of taking a break from something. Something that's feeling good or working out good or, you know, you've been working towards that. Maybe you feel like you want to take a break. But I feel like with the environment being the Nine of Wands, I feel like maybe you're really tired. Maybe you're kind of worn down, like you're exhausted and you're feeling like... Maybe you've been working really hard on something and it's showing results, but you're getting tired. Or is it that it's going along and then you're trying to find reasons to not do it, right? That self-sabotage. So is that what's going on? I feel like if that's what's going on here, we have what you need to focus on is this hermit, right? looking at, okay, why am I feeling this way? Why, why is this going on? Why is this happening? Why am I in this four of swords energy? Why do I feel like I want to give up? I almost feel like you want to give up on something good. Um, but maybe there's, there's something more going on here with you. So let's get some clarifiers here. Okay. Magician. And I almost feel like you've lost your drive, like you've lost your your fire that maybe you Okay, so we have the 5 of swords with the hermit. I feel like is someone around you affecting you and is causing you to not focus on what's important to you or something that you've been building or something that you've been doing, something that you've been focusing on, like you've been doing some really good work, but is there someone around you that is stopping you, like that is affecting you, that's getting in your line of vision, someone that's getting in your way, that's starting to hold you back? Is it somebody around you that's jealous? Is it somebody that... Sometimes when we have a lot of personal development within ourselves that the people around us that aren't doing the same thing, they see that you, you're starting to move forward and they're like, hey, don't leave me behind. I want to pull you back. I'm kind of feeling with this card that came out that there's someone around you that's holding you back or there's something could doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could just be some old feelings that are coming on. That's why I was saying, are you self-sabotaging something? And sometimes when things start to go really good, like your subconscious is like, oh no, how do we, how do we stop this, right? How do we change this up? Like, how do I mess this up for myself? And is that what's going on here? So I feel like that what you need to focus on is, is okay, if I'm having this thing that's working really well for me and I've been motivated, made it, well, hello. <laughs> Again, my brain goes quicker than my mouth. Um, and you've been feeling really motivated and you've been doing really good. And then all of a sudden, it's like you're in this Four of Swords energy. It's like, okay, 
I need to stop and I need to take a look and say, why am I feeling this way? Why do I feel like I need to stop? Um, your past or what you're leaving, I feel like is something that like you were doing really good. Okay, we have the devil and then we have the swords. I almost feel like you are... Um, you were really, you were doing really good and that you were really focusing on yourself, but I almost feel like this energy is trying to come back in. This devil energy as in the negative way and this seven of swords where it's like, okay, you're shutting back down, you're going within yourself, like you're not being as motivated. It's like almost like that black cloud is, is coming around you. And I feel like that's what you need to leave behind is that you know, I don't want to go back to that place. I don't want to get back in that energy. Your strengths are the Ten of Cups. Your strengths are is that when you see something that starts to happen is that you're able to pull yourself back up and you're able to refocus, right? You're able to focus more on the positive. Like, yes, this may happen for a little bit where things start to shut down. I feel like it's something that's happened really slow that and that it's almost like little bits at a time where it's happened. So you didn't really notice it, but then all of a sudden I feel like you're like coming into that energy of, okay, this has happened and I see how I'm backing away from something that was so important to me because this energy, I feel like this is the key here is this five of swords. There's something that's affecting you that's stopping your progress. So in the near future, I love it because it's a six of swords. It's like, okay, I'm leaving that behind, right? Like, I'm not going to let this bother me. I'm going to keep moving forward because I was doing so good that I want to work towards this nine of pentacles where I'm feeling happy, where I'm feeling rewarded, where I'm, where I'm getting myself back on track, right? Being able to pick yourself up. And that's what I always feel like with Capricorn is I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising is that life will get us down challenges will get us down and it may keep us down for a bit but then it's like capricorn has the strength to pull yourself back together right to see okay this is a challenge this is a problem okay i've got to do something about it i'm not saying other signs can't do that but um i just know that definitely from reading all of your messages and stuff like um you know that Capricorns had a lot of hard challenges, but it's like, okay, I'm going to pick myself back up and I'm going to keep moving. So for advice, we have the star. It's like charge forward, right? <laughs> we have the chariot. It's charge forward. Don't give up hope. Don't give up on yourself. You were doing so good. Go put yourself back into the energy of that success of those good things that were happening. Put yourself back in that energy and don't give up on yourself. That's the most important is that's what life is about is when we have these challenges in front of us is how do we handle those? Do we let them overcome us? Do we give our energy and our power to those situations? Or do we see that as a challenge and we say, okay, how can I get past this? How can I move past this? How can I move on from this? How can I overcome this? How is this going to make me stronger? And what can I learn from this situation as I can take this to move forward towards the next challenge that comes in? Because that's what life is, is that there's always these ups and downs. There's those times where it feels rewarding, feels really good. We're feeling successful in those times when we have those challenges where it's like, okay, here we go. Like, how do I get past this? We have the environment is, yeah, you're tired, but the environment is hang in there. And the environment is the six of swords. It's like, yes, life has its challenges. It has its ups and downs. It has its bumps, bumps in the road, but it's keep going, keep going and get past this. What are those tools that you have that you can use to get past the situation, to get over the situation, those things that help you? Um, like I've said many times before, for me, it's going to the barn. I went to the barn yesterday and it was absolutely magical. I mean, it was just amazing how being in that environment can turn everything around, can really change things for you and just help to refocus whatever that thing is that you have that can help you. We have the hopes and fears. The hopes, I feel this is more the hopes. It can be hopes and fears. Fears, am I going to be happy again? Is it going to be positive again? Am I going to get back into this ten of pentacles? You know, did I say hopes or fears? I think I said fears. Again, my brain's, I think I had too much coffee this morning. <laughs> 
fears that am I going to be happy again? Am I going to get back to the Ten of Pentacles? Hopes are yes. I have hope. I am positive. You know, it's all about your perspective, which I've said many times before is how are you going to see this challenge? Are you going to see it as, okay, what can I learn from it? How do I pick myself up? How do I keep plowing through? How do I get past this challenge? Or are you, do you see it as this is going to drain me? This is going to put me back into this devil negative energy and this um, seven of swords where I'm shutting down, right? Looking at it and saying, am I going to fight through this or am I going to give in? All right. And then the potential outcome, we have the seven of pentacles, but I kind of feel like it's looking back and saying, when you've gone through this process saying, wow, I'm really proud of myself. I saw this challenge. I saw that I was fading. I saw that I was losing my spark. I saw what the problem is. I saw what I had to focus on and I pulled myself back up and I want to give myself that pat on the bath, bath, hello, back. <laughs> and I'm proud of myself for getting through this situation. And I have faith and belief in myself that I am strong and I can overcome any situation that's thrown my way. It may take me a while. It may be, sometimes I may realize this faster. Sometimes it may be slower, but I see that challenge. I take on that challenge and I learn from that challenge. I mean, how rewarding is that? Like that's the best reward. Having that confidence and having that faith and belief in yourself and saying, I can overcome situations. And I'm not going to let it get me down because you were doing so good. All right, we have mending. What are those things that you need to mend? Definitely there's something that needs to be mending. So I feel like this mending, putting things back together, pulling yourself back up, hanging in there, not giving up hope. I feel like that's sort of the energy that's going on around here is mending yourself, right? Mending yourself if you're feeling this this weakness here. We have two cards that want to come out. We have the reclaim your power, the panther spirit. Definitely reclaim your power. Reclaim your power. Don't let this situation get to you, right? This person, situation, whatever that may represent. And then we have elephant spirit learning from the past and seeing, okay, before in the past, I used to give up or before in the past, I didn't try as hard or I didn't recognize it as soon or you know, whatever that is, learning from the past and saying, okay, I didn't like how things happened out in the past, but I'm going to change things now. I'm going to make things different now that I'm going to make a difference now because I'm on such a good path and I don't want to give that up. All right, go get them. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.